will they be listening to the Michigan game. They'll be listening to the Tigers in game four of the World Series. You're now going to see a scene with the band you won't believe. Let's go get Northwestern. Happy homecoming. Woo! to the 46 where Garland Rivers made the stop and Greenfield barely got that one away and barely over the hands of the in-rushing Rodney Lyle. Greenfield to throw. He's going to run it. Goes up to the right side. Now cuts back against the grain over midfield. He's got a first down before Cochran hauls him down at the Michigan 47. And Jim, that almost looked like it was planned. Toss to Tracy Parsons, a halfback around the left side. He cuts up field inside the 45. Stumbles forward to about the 41, but it's a good gain of about six yards for here. But he's averaging only 2.7 yards per carry. Change at tight end for Northwestern. Ralph Jackson out of the ball game. Junior out of Franklin Square, New York. Rich Boris in a JC transfer is in. But it's a running play. Parsons up the middle. Met by Rogers at the line, and down he goes at the 40. It's in the pro set in the backfield. Two tight ends in, both on the right. And back goes Greenfield, rolling out. Swings it to Cummings, right side. Got it at the 40. Is hit by Lyles but fights his way forward and is close to a first down. Eight for Northwestern, and Greenfield goes back and stumbles and falls at midfield as he tries to set up the throw, and the Wildcats kill themselves with a penalty and will be forced to punt. Been averaging about 37 yards a kick. Steve Johnson, deep for Michigan, standing at his own 10-yard line. Here's the... Well, we almost had a snap, and then a flag went down. Let me see what this is all about. I can't believe it would be delay a game. There's still three seconds on the 30-second clock. On the 25-second clock, I should say. 
illegal procedure against the Wildcats. Try to do it again. The snapper is Tom Nicholas. Awaiting that snap now. There it is. Carpenter moves forward and gets the kick away. A high short punt. This one is sailing toward the northwestern sideline and will go out of bounds in the vicinity of the 40-yard line. And on the left, the ball on the right hash. Jokic in for Steve Johnson, split right. The handoff to Rodgers, breaks a tackle off the right side. He's over midfield, 40, down the sideline, 35, 30. And that is bumped out of bounds from behind by Ellery Bennett, the outside linebacker at the northwestern 25-yard line. Here's a toss from Reen back to Rodgers, trying to sweep the right end. Doesn't have much running room, though. He's forced inside by the linebacker, Morgan, and has it down to the 20, where Kevin Brown made the stop. The left, Rodgers now lines himself in a slot right. One setback, Garrett, and back goes Reen to throw. Fires right side. Caught by Rodgers. First down inside the 15, and now the official gives him a bad spot right on the 15-yard line. Rodgers went down, made sure he had the first down at the 14-yard line, and it... It appears he's going to get that first down anyways. And split to the left in place of Steve Johnson. Reen last week in relief against Michigan State was two out of seven with one interception. Hand off to Rodgers. Nothing going at right tackle, so he bounces it outside. He's going to be run out of bounds by Scott Sanderson down around the 12 after a gain of three. And he was shoved right into the alumni band on the far sideline. Fun from the Northwestern 12. Reen tosses to Rodgers, sweeping wide side left. Got Garrett to block for him. Gets that block, cuts up field inside the 10, and has it down to the 6, where Scott Sanderson tripped him up. And one here at the 6, they go with a power eye. Perriman and Garrett in front of Rodgers in the backfield. Handoff to Eddie Garrett, left side. He is hit by Newell as he got for the 5. And then four other Wildcats dive into the pile, but it looks like Eddie Garrett has a first down to the 4-yard line, and he does. First and goal, Michigan. Make that 2, says Jack Lane. 2 out of 2 for Michigan, third downs. First and goal here at the four. They're going with that power eye. Armstrong and Garrett in front of Rodgers. Toss to Rodgers, sweep and right. Looks for some blocks. Northwestern's got it strung out well. Good tackle on the far sideline by Charles Plant, the strong safety. He brings Rodgers down at the three after a gain of one. Here they had only three games of under 20 points. This year, they've already had three games under 20 points in five contests. Straight eye formation now with Garrett in front of Rodgers. Two tight ends in. Hand off to Rodgers. Goes off right tackle behind Caddis. Fights his way down near that goal line but can't get it in. He stopped just short of the goal by Alex Moyer, the outside linebacker from Ecorse. It'll be third and goal for Michigan in the scoreless first quarter. 5-22 remaining. Third down and goal from the one. Michigan goes with a power eye. Perriman and Garrett in front of Rodgers. Everybody jammed in tight. Hand off to Eddie Garrett. Straight up the middle. Touchdown, Michigan. Eddie Garrett hauls it in. 62 yards in 11 plays. And Garrett has his second touchdown of the season. yard line. Here's the snap placed down by Todd. Bergeron's kick is up and it is good. With 4.58 remaining in the first quarter, our score Michigan 7, Northwestern nothing and we'll be right back. <laughs> Wildcats come on offense. They split Bumgartner out to the right. Go with two tight ends. Jackson on the left and Borison out on the wing left. Casey Cummings, Tracy Parsons are the running backs. Hand off to Parsons, going around the left side. Hit once by Meredith, but fights forward over the 25, off to the 27 defensively. Second and three Wildcats. Parsons again off the left side with flags down. Cuts up off left guard, is met by Mallory as he got it up near the 30-yard line, just short of a first down. The preliminary indication, offside against Northwestern. Linesman is Ed Marisic, the line judge Ron Winter, the field judge Dick Honig, the side judge Tom Herbert, the back judge Tom Klein. You now it seems to me that we only see two referees at Michigan games, Otto Quartz and John Neelan. Five yard walk off to the 22, it's second and eight. Northwestern goes with one setback, that's Cummings, and he gets a handoff on a draw, and Meredith has got him hammered down at the 22 no gain on the play but there's a flag on the play as well and we'll see what that's all about offside michigan 
both directions around Michigan Stadium. It's going to meet right now at the 50-yard line on the far side of the field and almost in. Here's a toss to Parsons trying to sweep the left, but he's hemmed in by Hammerstein, fumbles the ball, and Michigan has recovered at the Northwestern 25-yard line. No, they're giving the ball back to Northwestern. Mike Mallory was beside himself, Frank. Oh, it was a great play by Hammerstein. And the Michigan offense starts out to the field, and they're going to be told to leave. Mallory recovered the fumble after Hammerstein made a tremendous hit on Tracy Parsons for a two-yard loss. And the officials give the ball back to Northwestern. Down and five, Wildcats put Coates out to the left. He comes in motion right where Bumgarner is set. And back to throw goes Greenshield, rolls out to the right, fires, and it's almost intercepted by Rodney Lyles at the 35. Had it in his hands and couldn't hold it. And Mike Greenfield nearly threw his first interception of his career. Kick. High one, it's still rather short. Johnson catches the ball, goes down on his knees, fumbles it, and Northwestern is recovered at the Michigan 35-yard line. By Scarcelli, pulls away from a jersey tackle and spins up the sideline in front of the Michigan bench to about the 35-yard line. Harrison and Jackson on the left, handoff to Parsons up the middle. He's tripped up by Mallory in the backfield and just spins forward to the line of scrimmage, the 34, and that'll be all. ...of the year was 49. Duvica sophomore, Mike Wall, backup quarterback to hold. He's got it down. Here's the kick. It's up. It's long enough, but it is hooking, and it is no good. Off to the left. And so Duvick misses the field goal attempt to 51 yards with a score. Michigan 7, Northwestern nothing. Let's pause for this work. Rick Rogers got 6 on first down. Second and 4, Michigan from its own 40. Reen turns to his left. Gives it to Rodgers, and Rodgers is going nowhere. Daryl Newell, the freshman All-American out of Gary, Indiana, hit him at the line and spun him down. It'll be little or no gain for Rodgers. Call it wide out his beans, put wide side of the field right. Here's a fake to Rodgers, and Reen sprinting out to the right to throw. He's got a block there, now stops, throws up the sideline, and the ball is caught at midfield. What a tremendous catch by Vince Bean, who went high in the air, hauled it in in front of the quarterback, Kevin Brown, and he has got a first down at midfield. Vince. First tight end, Nelson. Got it inside the 25. Sim Nelson with a catch. Scott Hent centers it with a hit, and down goes Nelson at the 21-yard line. And Michigan's leading receiver puts the Wolverines in great shape after the 28-yard game. We'll get another playoff. One second left in the quarter. We're going to pause here. 15 seconds. Station identification on the Michigan Football Network. And that's the end of the first quarter at Michigan Stadium with a score. The Wolverines 7, the Wildcats nothing. Steve Johnson out to the right. Tight end Nelson's on the right. One setback, Garrett, as Rodgers now shifts out into a slot left. Russ Reen, the quarterback, gives to Garrett. Little trap up the middle. That's going nowhere. Game guest, by the way. Third down and six at the Northwestern 18. Again, just one setback. Marcray is in and split to the right. And back goes Reen to throw. He's looking, getting a blitz. Fires over the middle. The ball caught by Rodgers, but he's angling back up field. And he's going to be brought down at the 16-yard line for a gain of just two yards on the play. I'm sorry. Should know better by now. Sixth week of the season. Bergeron into attempt the field goal. Schlopey kneeling at the 24. Severe angle to the right. Here's a snap placed down by Bergeron, by Schlopey. Bergeron's kick is up in that direction, and it's good. A 34-yard field goal by Bob Bergeron. Michigan driving 50 yards in eight plays to set it up. And with 12.58 remaining in the first half, our score is Michigan 10, Northwestern nothing. It's okay, a little earlier I thought I called it Wisconsin. Slopey to boot it. Here it is, a high end over end kick. Duncan will field this at the one and starts to his right. Up over the five, the 10, hemmed in, doesn't find much running room. Flags go down and so does Duncan at the 15-yard line. Seven of them. Here's Parsons with a handoff off the left side. He doesn't have much running room. Fights his way up over the five, out to the six, the seven-yard line. Fullback now is Claudel Robertson replacing Cummings, and flags go down before the snap, and I think Northwestern took too much time. Hamill has hit a two-run over in the first inning to put Detroit on top. And listen to this stat, the U.S. stat. <laughs> Eric Shaw, the starter for San Diego today, pitched eight innings against the Cubs in postseason play and yielded five home runs. Second and nine from the seven now, and Greenfield goes back into the end zone to throw, and now he's going to run out of there. Runs away from Anderson up the sideline, up over the ten, and Sinsich gets him 
That split Coates out wide to the left. Two tight ends, Borison and Jackson. And here's Greenfield rolling to his left. Safety blitz, but he throws the ball complete to his fullback, Cummings, up near the 20-yard line. Cochran on the tackle. It's a first down for Northwestern. What a throw by Greenfield with Doug Mallory right in his face. Bumgarner splits out to the left. Wide to the right is Coates. Cummings and Parsons in the backfield, and Greenfield drops the throw. Swings it right side to Cummings again at the 15. Hemmed in by Scarcelli. Races upfield over the 20, out to the 22. He'll wind up gaining a yard, maybe two to the 23, and that'll be all. The injuries have been crushers. Back to throw goes Greenfield, being rushed by Rodgers, and just throws it away on the right sideline, and Rodney Lyles just shakes his head and said, I was the closest man to the ball. I should have been alert. It'll be third down and eight. Injured in May of their careers in Greenfield back to throw on third down. Going to run out of there. Hit from behind by Meredith, and he's going to be hauled down as he crosses the 25. And that will be well short of a first down. And the Wildcats will be forced to punt once again. Who fumbled the last time he attempted to return one, standing back at his own 36. Here's the snap. Carpenter moves forward. Bishop coming, but he got it away. It's another short one. Shanked it off the side of his foot toward the Northwestern sideline. The ball stays in bounds and bounces over midfield. Look at this. It's doing a tap dance down the sideline and rolls out of bounds finally at the Michigan 41. Stadium Wolverines 10. Northwestern nothing. 9-47 remaining in the first half. Russ Reen at quarterback. Eddie Garrett and Rick Rogers in the eye behind him. Here's Reen. Reverse pivot gives to Rogers up the middle. Breaks a tackle by Newell. He's over midfield into Northwestern territory. And it's finally hauled down by Sanderson. Left in the half. 10-0 Michigan. Russ Reen, who has been perfect in the air, four out of four calling the signals. Michigan with six first downs. Toss to Rogers, sweeping the left. Elliott tries to throw a block, and Rogers tries to turn it up the corner, but is running out of real estate and runs out of bounds after a gain of two at the 45. Free Bennett also did a good job out there at stringing the play out from his outside linebacker spot, Frank. Vince Bean splits out wide to the left. Triando Marcray to the right. Nelson checks out of the lineup. Caddis in and tight end. Rodgers and Garrett in the eye. The ball at the left hash. Fake to Rodgers. Back goes Reen against the blitz. Going deep on the post to Vince Bean. Great defensive play by Jan Keith Gatewood as he batted it away at the 10-yard line. At the Northwestern 45, Marcray split to the right. Bean to the left. Nelson back into tight end. Reen gives out a draw to Rodgers. Up the middle, all kinds of room. Down to the 40, 35, down to the 32, where Darren Morgan made the stop. Gain of 13 yards on the draw play. First down for Rick Rogers and Michigan. 23. Two tight ends, only one setback now for Michigan. That's Eddie Garrett. And Eddie Garrett gets the handoff. His flags go down, fights his way behind James inside the 30. To We're going to get somebody else in there. McCray split wide right. That's wide side of the field. But it's a handoff to Rick Rogers off the left side. And he just doesn't have much running room over there behind Hammerstein and James and goes down at the 35. Make it second down. Second down, 14. And back goes Reen to throw. Rifles down the middle. Diving catch by Vince Bean at the 21. Right in front of Jan Keith Gatewood. And Vince Bean with his body prone to the ground. Stuck out those hands and the ball drilled in there. Stuck like glue. Yards. First down, Michigan at the 21-yard line. And here's the handoff to Rodgers trying to sweep the right. Picks his way inside the 15. Flags down. Rodgers inside the 10 and finally hauled down by Gatewood at the 5. On winner, we've got a face mask call against Northwestern. 15-yard run, by the way. Rick Rodgers gets it to 111 yards in 16 carries in the first half. Here's a handoff to Rodgers. Straight up the middle. Tries to dive over the top. Is hit by Ted Karras Jr. And goes down at about the 2-yard line. Sticky. Michigan came to the line, and Russ Reen finally called timeout. Second and goal, Michigan at the two. High formation, handoff to Rodgers. Off the right side, he's met at the goal line by Keith Cruz. Tried to force his way in, but he shoved back. Rodgers at the two. I thought he was inside of that. Third down and goal at the two. Power eye on the backfield. Garrett and Perriman in front of Rick Rogers. Russ Reen calling the signals. Turns, gives to his left to Garrett, and Garrett is stacked up and fights his way through a tackle and into the end zone for a second touchdown of the ball game. Up 16 to nothing. Well, you've got to give all the responsibility on that touchdown run to Garrett because he was stopped at the two-yard line and just fought his way through three tacklers and rolled into the end zone. Good. Food company. 59 yards in 10 plays. 
Bergeron out to attempt the extra point. Slopey places it down. Kick is up. It's good. And with 5.55 remaining in the first half, our score now, Michigan 17, Northwestern nothing, and we'll be right back. Todd Slopey out to kick it off. Back deep, Curtis Duncan and Brett Whitley. There's the kick, high and end over end toward the right sideline. Whitley will grab it at the 13, go right up the sideline and be rocked out of bounds by Brad Cochran at the 17-yard line. Only a four-yard return, and Whitley might have been wise to let that one just sail out of bounds. He goes with three wideouts now. Whitley in a slot left. Bumgarner split wide left. Michigan jumps off side. But it looks like it's going to be a legal procedure against Michigan. And well, you know, you wonder about that kind of a call, right? When three defensive linemen all jump at the same time. Goes Greenfield to throw. He's looking to his right. Swings it out. Caught by the tight end by Jackson. He's got it inside the 20. Now goes upfield. Hit by Cochran as he got to about the 24. Rush. Going to run out of there. Going to be hit around the 23-yard line by Hammerstein. Just dunk it in and split out to the right. Bumgarner left. And back goes Greenfield. He's looking, fires down the middle over the head of Bumgarner, intercepted by Eric Campbell at the 35, heads toward the sideline at the 30, and is run out of bounds at the Northwestern 26. Michigan gets the football back with that 17-0 lead and a chance to boost the margin before the intermission. Herman in at fullback and Jamie Morris at tailback for the first time today. Reen calling the signals, turns, gives on the right side to Morris, bounces it outside. Got a man in front of him, but eludes him inside the 20, 15, and he's finally tripped up as he got it down to the six-yard line. A gain of 20 yards and a touchdown saving tackle by Jan Keith Gatewood. 20 yards on that carry. Morris at tailback behind Bob Perriman, the fullback, and here comes Jamie again off the left side. Ooh, Terrell Newell has got him around the shoulder pads and spins him to the ground at the seven for a one-yard loss. Second down, Michigan goal to go. Hand off to Jamie Morris off left tackle. Not much running room. Gets it down to the five, and that'll be all. And once again, Daryl Newell made the stop. Leading 17 to nothing. Vince Bean splits to the right, the lone wideout. Two tight ends in Nelson right, Caddis left. Perriman and Morris. Fake to Morris. And back, back goes Reen. Throws into the end zone. It's a touchdown to Eric Caddis. Russ Reen throws his first touchdown pass as a Wolverine. And Michigan leads it 23 to nothing. And that was another Armour Star touchdown. Russell Reed, but also Craig Northwestern gambled with a blitz as they sent Jan Keith Gatewood in on a blitz. That left single coverage in the secondary, and it was Caddis running behind the linebacker, and Reen drilled it. Bergeron to attempt the extra point. The kick is up, and it is good. And with 2.38 left in the first half, our score now, Michigan 24, Northwestern nothing, and we pause for this timeout. See if they try the same play in this kickoff where they kick it down one sideline. Slopey moves forward, kicks this one deep, line drive, hooking shot. Duncan fields it, bobbles it at the 5, picks it up at the 10, heads up field, and is cut down at the 15. Northwestern with 234 left in the half, goes with two tight ends. Borison and Jackson, one wide out, Tony Coach to the left. Fake to Parsons, and Greenfield rolls to his left to throw. Being chased over there, hit from behind by Scarcelli, and hauled down at the 10 or 11 yard line. Second and 15, Northwestern at its own 11. Less than two minutes remaining in the half. Hand off to Tracy Parsons around the right. He eludes Garcelli in the backfield and fights his way back to the line of scrimmage. And I'm out with 126 remaining in the half. And the problem for the Wildcats on offense, number one, no speed. Number two, problems with that offensive line. Third and 14 here, Michigan using a timeout. They'd like to get it back and maybe score one more time. Claudell Robertson in that backfield at fullback along with Parsons. Flags down as Greenfield goes back to throw. Scrambling around at the goal line. Fires upfield, and the ball is caught. Up over the 25-yard line. Mike Mallory hit the man immediately. It looked like Bumgarner, and it was at the 25-yard line. Western, so they'll decline the penalty against Michigan and keep the football at their own 26. Bumgarner splits out wide to the left. Wide to the right is Curtis Duncan. And back goes Greenfield. Getting the blitz, but they pick it up. Fire short to Parsons over the middle out of the backfield. Got it. Up over the 35, 36. Anderson trips him up there. D down he goes at the 37, but that appears to be another first down. Also signals less than a minute remaining in the half. Goes back. Flips it over the middle. The ball is dropped by Duncan up near the 45-yard line. I think he was hearing footsteps in traffic. 
And uh, Mike Greenfield heard a few footsteps too because Mike Hammerstein was right on his back. Second and 10 at the 37. Wildcats go to that three wide out offense. Whitley in the slot left. Bumgarner wide left. Coates out to the right. Back goes Greenfield. He's looking, getting a rush from behind, and he's going to be sacked by Rogers and by Hammerstein. And what else would you expect? That melodious tune strung out by the two Michigan linemen, Rogers and Hammerstein, on the sack. <laughs> you were waiting for that all year long, weren't you? You were waiting for that all year long. I don't believe it. All year long. Timeout on the field as Northwestern decided they didn't like, or Michigan decided they didn't like that kind of joke either. <laughs> and Michigan will talk it over defensively. And Bo Schembechler is right in the middle of that defensive huddle along with Gary Moeller. Mike Greenfield for a loss of about 12 yards. Northwestern looking now at a third down and 19. Probably be doing the play-by-play -play from here on for the end of the half because Frank Beckman can't stop laughing at his own Rodgers and Hammerstein joke. <laughs> Too bad we're not playing Oklahoma. <laughs> How could you do that to me? <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> third and 19, and here comes the reverse, and it's handed off to Duncan around the left side, and he's up over the 30, the 35, and then he's hammered to the ground, hammered to the ground by Rogers, <laughs> with 30 seconds left in the half, it'll be fourth down for Northwestern, and Michigan calls timeout. <laughs> <Compose herself. laughs> 30 seconds left to go the Wolverines have called time out they have one left uh, with 30 seconds left they'll get the ball back a little less than that as Steve Johnson drops deep to receive the punt Sean Carpenter the freshman will do the kicking for Northwestern Michigan with 10 men at the line now they drop two back. We'll see if Alan Bishop or Garland Rivers can get in from the outside. Waiting the snap. There it is. Bishop comes through but can't get to him. And Carpenter gets a wobbly high kick away. Hits inside the Michigan 35. Will be downed at the 31-yard line by the Wildcats. Put Bean out wide to the left. Johnson to the right. Perriman and Morris in the backfield. Fake to Morris and back goes Reen. Flips it over the middle. Jamie's got it. 35. Flags down in the backfield. Morris goes to the right to the sideline. 40. Stiff arms a man up over the 45. And he's run out of bounds by Kevin Brown, the quarterback, around the 47-yard line. But this one's coming back for holding against Michigan. So 11 seconds remain in the half following the holding penalty against Michigan. Mark Ray splits out to the right. Touchdown, Triando. TD Mark Ray, they call him. And Reen goes back, is on a draw to Jamie Morris, up the middle, got a little running room over the 25 to the 26. One, and Michigan won't take the time out here. The clock runs down. That's the end of the first half here at Michigan Stadium, and we've got an injured Wolverine down on the field. And it looks like Clay Miller. So the Wolverines suffer yet another injury on the final play of the half. We're not sure it's Clay Miller, so let's hold off on the identification. Let's hold off on that. Uh, we will now identify him. It is Clay Miller. So we'll keep our eye on him as the two teams head to their locker room for the intermission. The score here at Michigan Stadium. The Wolverines at halftime on homecoming. 24. Northwestern nothing. Bill Stegas back with his halftime activities in... <laughs>
Hi again, everybody. Frank Beckman and Jim Brandstetter back with you at Michigan Stadium. The Wolverines will receive the second half kickoff, leading Northwestern by a score of 24 to nothing. Our statistician, Jack Lane, our spotter, Jim Adams, our engineer, John Wren, here at Michigan Stadium. The Wolverines with a big first half output, 24 points. And for Michigan, that output is their highest scoring surge of the entire season. That's more than they've scored in any single game this year. Actually, Steve Johnson and Rick Rogers is at the 10 at the left hash. Dubik moves forward, kicks it off. We're underway in the second half. End over end kick, sailing down a couple yards deep in the end zone. Jamie's going to run it out. Hemmed in, now cuts to his right. He's got open field. 15, 20, 25, 30, back to his left. 40, 45, 50. Has to outrun Dubik. He's at the 40, the 35, the 30. Dubik dives and misses. And then Morris is hauled down from behind by Curtis Duncan at the Northwestern 20-yard line. An 82-yard kickoff return to start the second half. And return was set up to go down the left side of the sideline. Morris got the ball down the right side. He started toward the middle of the field, and then Northwestern made the fatal mistake. Here's a tailback, gets the call off the right side, picks away from one man, now bounces it outside. He's to the 15, and finally run out of bounds at the 14 or 13-yard line. That ends in Caddis right, Nelson left. Bean the lone wideout, split left. It's Eddie Garrett and Rogers in the backfield. Here's Garrett up the middle, picks his way on a trap inside the 10. First down at the 9-yard line for Michigan. The lone wideout bean, or check it, Steve Johnson split wide left. Handoff is to Rogers, picks his way left side, and Keith Cruz comes across the line to make the tackle at about the five-yard line. The left, he's got uh, Sim Nelson with him as the tight end there. Caddis, the other tight end on the right. Here's a handoff to Jamie Morris, picks his way up the middle of the five. He's down near the one, and he's in. Touchdown, Michigan. Jamie Morris carries it in for his first touchdown as a Wolverine. He goes five yards off the left side, and the Wolverines lead it by a score of 30 to nothing. He does an outstanding job of running in close quarters on that occasion. Just really carried a couple of people with him and snuck the ball into the end zone for the touchdown. Bob Bergeron out to attempt the extra point. Schlopey to hold it. Herrick to snap it. Here's the snap. The kick is up. It is good. Bergeron's tripped up as he follows through, but he's okay. And so with 13-27 remaining in the third quarter, it's just announced, and the string remains alive. 58 crowds now in succession, over 100,000, 102,245. Long couple of weeks, Jimmy. <laughs> I've been running on fumes now for two weeks. Yeah, well, where were you? Kansas City, San Diego? Well, let's start with Bloomington, Indiana. There you go. San Diego, Kansas City, San Diego. <laughs> Slopey to kick it off. Here it is. High and over end kick coming down to Brett Whitley at the three. Starts up the left side. Goes toward the middle at the 15. Eludes a man there. He's up over the 20 to the 22. Pender in the ball game for the first time. Splits wide to the left. And back to throw goes Greenfield. He flips it over the middle. It's caught by the halfback Parsons at the 26. He tries to elude Anderson. Can't do it and is tripped up right there after a gain of four. Greenfield calling the signals and flags go down before the play can unfold. And at 11 at the 21 and back goes Greenfield. Hammerstein coming through. He steps up in the pocket. He flips it out there complete to Parsons. His halfback over the 25. Breaks a tackle up over the 30 to the 33. Hard bit of running by Tracy Parsons for a first down before Doug Mallory could make the stop. To the right, Carpenter to the left. Coates comes in motion, but it's a running play. Parsons up the middle. Meredith dives and misses him. And Parsons is up over the 40 to the 41. Second and three. And Greenfield's not going to throw it here. He goes to Parsons off the left side again. First down. Oh, he is shaken up on the play, and he's holding that right shoulder awfully low. Wonderful. The two Mallory guys. Heard on the brothers. third play. Dieter Heron will be in at the safety spot, and Jeffrey Lee Akers goes in at the linebacking spot for Mike Mallory inside. First down, Northwestern at the Michigan 49 as the wave starts once again here at Michigan Stadium. Cummings and Parsons in the eye. Coates goes in motion right where Carpenter set. Handoff to Parsons. Runs away from Rogers off the right side. Inside the 45, down to the 42. Gain of seven more yards. And met in the backfield for a loss as flags go down. Eye formation this time with Cummings. In front of a new tailback, a freshman, Stanley Davenport, out of Decatur, Georgia. Hand off to Davenport, and oh, is he met in the backfield by Meredith. And down he goes at the 39 for a two-yard loss. The fullback, Parsons back in at the halfback spot. 
Second and 12, fake to Parsons. Greenfield rolls to his right to throw, flag down. Fires it over the middle. It is caught by Parsons coming out of the backfield. He's got it at the 32, brought down by Jeffrey Lee Akers, and we may have a holding call here. We'll see what the signal is. Referee John Nealon. With uh, Jeff Akers down there. Is their sixth penalty today for 36 yards. Is Whitman. The backs, Parsons and Cummings in the eye, and back to throw goes Greenfield. The blitz coming. Scarcelli from behind has him, but he spins away. Crosses midfield into Michigan territory down to the 42-yard line. He wound up gaining about six yards on the play. Whitley splits to the right. Craig Carpenter to the left. Now Parsons, the halfback, goes in motion left, and Greenfield goes back to throw against a blitz, fires it incomplete to Parsons, and he really got hammered back there. Greenfield did by Meredith and Akers. They've almost got there, but not quite. End over end kick. It'll hit at about the 10, go high in the air, well covered by Northwestern, and they're going to down the football at the one-yard line. Now, there's a great bit of kick coverage by the Wildcats as they got Tom Flaherty downfield quickly, the junior out of Chicago, and he downed the football at the one. The left. Nelson and Caddis, the two tight ends are in. And you've got uh, Garrett and Rogers in the backfield, and there's a handoff to Rogers off the left side, just fights his way forward to the five or the six, where Keith Cruz made the stop. Once again, coming across the line to make the tackle as Michigan avoids running in his direction. Deer attack up there at Minnesota, and they're really having some success under Lou Holtz. Here's Reen giving to Rogers, trying to sweep left. He's forced by the... Uh, by the safety plant has to cut it upfield and has it only to the eight or nine yard line. It's 31 nothing Michigan. Third down and three, handoff to Rodgers, and oh boy, that's why they're running away from <laughs> Keith Cruz. I was just gonna He's say in that. the backfield, has Rodgers for a loss on the seven, and Michigan is gonna be forced to punt for the first time in the football game. So the punt by Robbins will be his first to the ball game. He's been averaging 45.7 yards per kick this year. Here's the snap, double safeties for Northwestern, and Robbins booms it out of the end zone. Whitley goes back, grabs it at his own 44. Starts to his right, stutter steps back up the middle, breaks a tackle. He's over midfield into Michigan territory, and Tim Anderson hit him at about the 46-yard line. An injured Wildcat down on the field below us. Stir, a junior out of Lawton, Iowa. We'll tell you the score is Michigan 31, Northwestern nothing, and we'll pause for this word. Back goes Greenfield to throw on second down. Lyle's coming, but he gets it away and throws incomplete to Coates. The halfback Parsons out of the lineup. Northwestern goes with three wideouts with Whitley in as the third one. Back goes Greenfield. Here comes Scarcelli, but he gets it away. Throws to Cummings over the middle. Got it inside the 40 and spins forward for a first down to the 35-yard line. He's in. Both on the left, and now they bring Carpenter in the left. And back goes Greenfield. Safety blitz from Heron, and he's got him back near midfield. And we have a flag on the play at the line of scrimmage. Dieter Heron on the safety blitz. And, uh, Greenfield rolled his way. He just had no chance to get the ball off. Same play as Doug. Carpenter splits out wide to the right. Whitley to the left. Parsons, the halfback, in motion right. And back goes Greenfield to throw. Stands in the pocket. Now he's going to run it up the middle. Gets away from De Police. 45, 40. Hit by Dieter Heron. Down he goes. Mallory also there at the 39 to knock him off his pegs. Gain of nine yards. Three wideouts. Carpenter and Whitley to the right. Coach left. Cummings alone setback. And back goes Greenfield. Wants to throw. Now stops. His hit as he throws it incomplete for his tight end, Jackson. Oh, did he take a shot from the two backers, Scarcelli and Lyles, and Greenfield is a little slow getting up. Sean Carpenter to kick it away. Here's the boot. End over end. Wobbling down inside the 10. Hits at the 8 and bounces into the end zone. So it'll be a touchback, and Michigan will get it at the 20. Is that a flag down there, Jimmy, around the 32-yard line? Yes, it is. Now we'll see what that is all about. I'm sure Michigan will decline it. I would guess that Northwestern would take it. So the Wolverines will likely turn this down and take the ball on the 20. Let this Michigan team to the lead. Goes out into the huddle and breaks Michigan out of it. Rick Rogers in the backfield. Rogers with 125 yards today and 22 carries. Reen calling the signals under center Art Belordis. Turns, tosses to Rogers, sweep on the left, gets a block, cuts up field over the 25, up to the 29-yard line, close to a first down. Johnson, the flanker to the right. Second down and one, Michigan at the 29. Rogers and Garrett in the backfield, and Garrett gets the call, and he's going to be stuffed by Ted Karras. 
there's a flag down on the play as well. They'll mark Garrett down on the 29. They didn't hold Karras. <laughs> Back to the 19, and it'll be second down from there at about 11. But second down and 10 at the 20. Bean splits out to the left, Steve Johnson to the right. Rodgers and Garrett in the eye behind Russ Reen. Northwestern showing five men at the line. Reen goes straight back to throw, getting some time, fires, and it's almost intercepted by Gatewood. Sim Nelson was running a pattern crossing in front of Vince Bean, and I believe it was intended for Nelson. He just kind of turned around and looked at Bean, though. Man, but that was the same pattern, and in the first half, Vince Bean made the great catch on. Slot left, and Steve Johnson wide to the right, and back goes Reen on third and ten. Throws down the middle. Jokic goes up and makes the catch. On the coverage of Gatewood, it was all over his back. It's a first down at the 32, and a flag is thrown as well, but I think this is interference. Just climbing the back of Paul Jokic. Penalty is against Northwestern, and Michigan will have a first down at the 32-yard line. One Northwestern, nothing. Vince Bean replaces Jokic and splits to the left. Steve Johnson to the right, but it's a running play. Toss to Rodgers. He fumbles. The ball bounces right back to him. But by the time he regains possession, he's swarmed on by Ted Karras and two other Wildcats and goes down for a three-yard loss at the 30. Uh, looked pretty good offensively. Their defense has shut off the meek attack of the Wildcats. Here's Eddie Garrett getting the handoff up the middle. He's not going anywhere. Got Marcray split to the left, Bean to the right, and back to throw goes Russ Reen. He's looking. Throws upfield toward the right sideline. The ball is almost intercepted. It was intended for Vince Bean. Charles Plant, the strong safety, was over there on the coverage. Coming, but Robbins gets it away, and look at this kick. Whitley goes back to his own 14, fumbles the ball, and falls on it at the 15-yard line. What a kick. 55 yards. Throw goes Greenfield, first and 10 at the 15, throws right side, coats the wideout, goes down on a knee, makes the catch at the 28 in uh, front of Greg Randall who's in the ball game in that secondary for the first time it'll be a first down for Northwestern back goes Greenfield looks to his left flips it out to Parsons he bobbles it and drops it incomplete at the 30. He'll brings the Wildcats to the line second and 10 their own 28 and he goes back to throw again rush coming backside from Heron but he gets it away to Parsons coming out of the backfield and he can't hold it again he's now 11 out of 21 third and 10 back he goes here comes Heron again but he runs away from him Goes to his left, stops at the 26, wants the throw, now goes back the other way. Running away from Scarcelli and Heron. Goes back to the 25, flips it over the middle. It goes off the hands of Stanley Davenport, falls incomplete. And into when, when uh, Greenfield was scrambling around back there. He Eric Campbell, deep for Michigan, standing at his own 39. Awaiting the snap, there it is by Flaherty. Well, he took his time, Carpenter did, but he got it away. End over end kick toward the left sideline. Will hit inside the 40, takes a Northwestern hop, and then Campbell rushes up and grabs it while running out of bounds at the 22. Ensuing roll. Eight seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Russ Reen still at quarterback for the Wolverines. That offensive line now, we've got uh, at least one change that I can see. Rick Frazier is checked in at the one tackle spot. He's out of Escanaba, a junior. Here's a toss to Rogers, sweeping left. He gives on a reverse to Steve Johnson, coming around the right, over the 25, the 30, the 35. He's hit once and bumped out of bounds near the 40-yard line. Reverse with Anthony Carter, but not lately. Uh, Bo Schembechler pulling out all the stops here to get some offense going, and uh, that's the end of the third quarter as Michigan closes it out with a bang, running the reverse to Steve Johnson for the first down. Again, Morris splits out to the right. Bean in a slot left, wide left Steve Johnson. The lone setback, Eddie Garrett and Reen goes back to throw against a four-man rush. Throws right sideline. Jamie Morris goes up, makes a great catch as he was hit by the cornerback, Kevin Brown. He's got a first down at the Northwestern 43. He's a tailback now, gets the toss, sweeping the left, but... Gatewood is up to make the play, and so is Newell, and they haul Jamie Morris down for a two-yard loss at the 46. Set. Steve Johnson's foot wide side of the field to the right. Back goes Reen, fires left sideline, and Jamie goes up and grabs another one inside the 39, and then he is wrestled down by Richard Myers. Morris again, split in the wing left next to Jokic, and Reen runs the option right, tosses it to his fullback, Garrett. He cuts up field, fights inside the 35. 
fake to Jamie Morris, option right. Reen fakes the toss to Perriman, keeps it, and is going to be hauled down by Darren Morgan at the 34, a yard short of a first down. Eastern jumped offside on the first play. First and 15, Greenfield rolls to his right and fires a pass, and Tony Coates makes a diving catch. Side. There's a handoff, though, to Stanley Davenport, the halfback, and he tries to cut off left tackle. Has a gain of about three to the 49-yard line. Second down, and Greenfield's going back to throw. Safety blitz coming, but he dumps it off to his halfback, Davenport, over midfield, and, oh, did Scarcelli take a rip at him, and down he goes at the 45, about a yard short of a first down from the football game. Northwestern continuing to stick with their, it looked like a game plan where they'll show the, throw the short pass, and, and really it's the only effective way right now to do it because the Michigan pass rush has been so strong that quarterback Greenfield hasn't had time to let his receivers get downfield and in position. And off to Davenport, left side on third and one, and he did not make it. Port and Cummings, toss to Davenport, coming around the right, first down and more. He's going up the sideline inside the 40, down to the 37 or 36. Greenfield calling the signals with an eye formation, fakes to Davenport and goes back to throw. Swings it out right side, little screen caught by Davenport. Rodney Lyles has him hemmed in and will haul him down right around the line of scrimmage, getting some help from his friends there at the 34-yard line. Peter Heron in that secondary. Greenfield goes straight back to throw on second and 10. Got some time, now steps up in the pocket, pumps twice, fires to Coates over the middle, got it at the 22. Hit by Al Bishop, who is also in the lineup. In secondary, now Greg Randall on one corner, Al Bishop on the other. The safeties are Ivan Hicks and Eric Campbell. And Greenfield goes back. Got a safety blitz coming from Hicks, and he's got him for a loss back at the 32. Davenport and Cummings in the pro set in the backfield for Greenfield, who goes back to throw. Here comes the blitz again from Hicks and Scarcelli, but Greenfield gets it away, and it is complete. Inside the 25-yard line, his flags are thrown to the tight end, Harding. He goes down in the arms of Anderson at the 23 after a nine-yard gain. Now let's see what the penalty is all about. Seven oh nine left in the ball game. The walk-off on the pass interference against Northwestern. Offensive interference moves the ball back to the Michigan 47. But splits to the left. Wide to the right is Brett Whitley. And back goes Greenfield to throw. Got some time. Now the rush coming from behind. He's going to be hit and sacked at midfield. But the secondary was covered, and Greenfield had nowhere to go to. Eric Campbell back to accept the punt from Sean Carpenter. It'll be his eighth punt of the day. Well, this kid's got to be tired already this season. <laughs> this will be his 50th punt of the year. This is only the sixth game. He bobbles the snap and gets the kick away. Hangs a high spiral down the left side. It's short. Hits at the 27. Bounces back upfield. Will be down to around the 32 or 33 by the Wildcats. And we this. Bring him down. Michigan now. Chris Zerbrug in the game. He just hands it off to Jamie Morris on the first play. Straight up the middle for about three to the Northwestern 49. Here goes Zerbrug. Blitz coming. He throws it to Jamie Morris, little screen on the left side, and Jamie is just flattened by Darren Morgan as he got it down to the Wildcat 45 for a gain of four. He's kept that line just about the same, except for Frazier replacing the uh, tackle, Clay Miller. Toss to Jamie Morris on third down, trying to sweep the right side. He's going to be hauled down short of a first down at the 43 by Bob Bucaro, a freshman defensive back just in the ball game. Seeing some rare action. Hey, Robbins comes out to punt for only the third time today. Line of scrimmage at 43, and Robbins kicks it away. Hangs it up there. It hits at the 8, bounces high in the air, and the Wolverines' Rodney Lyles is going to down it at about the 6-yard line. What a year the youngster is having out of Great Bend, Kansas. Finish in the backfield. Hand off to the halfback, Davenport. He's hit at the line by Thibert. It fights his way forward to about the 9, and down he goes there. Head linebackers. Thibert and Schulte. Here's Greenfield now rolling out to his right to throw. Fires back across the grain. Caught by the tight end Jackson over the 25. He's out to the 28-yard line where Campbell made the stop. Now against Michigan's uh, second line guys, at least in the secondary, getting enough time back there for Greenfield to roll around, find some receivers, look off a primary target, and come, come back to somebody open underneath. The dance over Ivan Hicks and just couldn't do it. It'll be a gain of two on the play and set up second down and eight. 
2.27 left in the football game. Clock still running. Wildcats have picked up 14 first downs in the ball game. But every time they've come anywhere near deep in Michigan territory, they've been shoved back by blitzes and penalties. 152 remaining in the ball game and the clock running. Michigan defensively up front, still very impressive, especially with Joe Gray coming in there, making Greenfield force those passes and, and hurry his passes. And the linebackers here, Akers and Schulte and uh, those youngsters really getting their first opportunity to see game action. And I think that's uh, very critical for Michigan, especially under the injury situation they've had this year. The three yard line, second down and 10. 59 seconds left in the ball game. Blitz coming from Hicks again. Greenfield gets it away on a slant. The ball bobbled once, twice, and then dropped by Brett Whitley in Michigan territory. It'll bring up third down. 53 seconds left in the football game. Michigan 31, Northwestern nothing. Third and 10 for Northwestern at its own 43 with 53 seconds left. Back goes Greenfield. Got some time for a change. Fires to his tight end Jackson. The ball popped in the air by Akers and it falls incomplete. With 45 seconds left. Split Whitley out wide to the left, wide to the right, Tony Coates. Cummings and Davenport in the eye behind the quarterback, Greenfield. Play action fake. He rolls to his right to throw and throws it off the hip of Cummings, his fullback. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down, and Michigan will get the football back with 41 seconds left to play. The Tigers and San Diego Padres are going to the ninth inning with the Tigers leading it 4-1. to one. Thomas Wilcher at tailback for the first time behind Armstrong, and here's a handoff to Wilcher deep. Looked like Wilcher might have run a little too deep. Goes off the left side, gets a couple of yards to the 41. Lining up now with 15 seconds left to go in the ball game. High formation again. Toss to Wilcher, trying to sweep the left. Hemmed in, tripped up, but regains his balance back at the 45, and is bounced out of bounds around the 40 or 41-yard line by Ellery Bennett. Left, and Michigan will have one final play before this one goes into the record books as another Wolverine victory here on homecoming. Their 17th straight homecoming win and their 15th straight victory over the Northwestern Wildcats. And three and one in the Big Ten. Zerbra calls the signals, turns to give to Wilcher, but he slipped and fell. So Zerbra keeps it himself off the left side, gets it down to the 40. The clock runs down to zero, and that's it. The ball game is over, and Michigan has come back with another victory. Coming back from that defeat last week at the hands of Michigan State to shut out Northwestern this afternoon by a final score of 31 to nothing. So that's our final once again from here at Michigan Stadium. Michigan 31, Northwestern nothing. And Jim Branstetter and I will be right back with more football after these words.